try to text all the best pubs. I let her steer and I do all the locks. Everything. I do everything to give my princess what she wants and needs. And then look at her peeping over my shoulder. Then she still moans. Oh, you've got a on your head. So good morning and welcome to day three. Um, here we are at Middlewich, uh, what they call the big lock at Middlewich, which is the, the heading north, it's the last lock, which is great. So today we've got um, a trip of potentially eight hours. We're gonna see how that goes. If we get bored, we, you know, if we get fed up, and not too much sun, need a pub, whatever it be, we, we'll stop. Um, but within that eight hours, there's only one lock. Cannot believe that. Uh, and that's only a stop lock. But there seems to be lots of interesting stuff on the way. So up this way, you've got lots of these things that are called flashes, which I think are, it, it's something to do with the salt industry uh, and, and whether it's collapses of the land or something and it's then created pools or whether it's the salt equivalent to a gravel pit that's since been filled with water, I have no idea. But these flashes look quite interesting and it looks to me like it, it may be that the canal actually goes through them. I'd like that, I don't know, it's hard to tell on the map. Um, so we'll see. So I'm guessing it might come to sort of wide sections. Um, so that might be interesting. Uh, we've also got some tunnels. Uh, there's quite a few tunnels on this today, or three, three potential tunnels, none of them extremely long. But two of them are time bound, so you because you can't see through them, they're only one direction, so you can't see a boat from the other way. So you have to get there on the hour or on the half an hour. So that's a time restriction in itself, but they look like interesting little tunnels. We'll also pass the Anderton boat lift. So uh, on this occasion, we won't be going down that on us, the Weaver. That's not something that we've got planned. And what do you reckon to my new little camera? It's funky, this is nice to take to the pubs and stuff. So. It's a DJI, just to bring it into, back to life like this. Oh, it's got a lovely, sexy gimbal on it. And uh, it just moves where you want it to move, nice and smoothly. So that's going to be interesting. Started using it a little bit yesterday. Need to fully understand it. Bought it second hand, so it's not come with all the instructions, typically me. But uh, there's plenty of stuff online, so yeah, it's a nice little thing. It's tiny, really. Tiny. And there's my hand. There you go. Very small, but great. So, having started doing this, I've now just realised that I'm wearing quite a terribly ironed T-shirt. When I say terribly ironed, it hasn't been ironed. It's just come out of a drawer. But do you know what I mean? That's, that's, that's how I roll. I don't mind. I'm a little bit crinkly and wrinkly. Middlewich, very nice little stay, isn't it? Got here nice and early yesterday, which is quite strange for us to be somewhere at sort of half past three in the afternoon. But it was really nice. I suppose that's because we left early and it's not overly late now, is it? What are we about quarter past eight? Something like that, half past eight. Um, and we've got potentially an eight hour cruise today, but it doesn't have to be that. It's not an overly challenging route today, but I think it might be an interesting route. But I think there's a lot to do in Middlewich, but we haven't got, as much as we've still got a three week holiday here, we still don't have the luxury of spending too long in places. What it is, what it is, we took from it what we needed. It will do. Let's get your mozzied up, missus.
We don't like horse flies. Get some of this on my head. Give me a bald spot. The boat ahead has um, signaled me to stop. I can't actually see what's, um, what the issue is. Ah, so it's just, uh, I think there must be a tight aqueduct or something looking on the map. Um, and he must have spotted somebody coming through. Busy, busy this morning around here. Yeah, so it's a Croxton aqueduct. Having not done this section of the canal before, I had no idea that it was this just really narrow, but here we are. This is what's known as Croxton Flash. So this is our first taste of what a flash is. And I think, well, I'll, I'll need to look it up and I'll probably have to correct myself later. But I think it's a collapse. It'll have been a, a, like, a, like a sinkhole that's happened at some point. Here's what Wikipedia says. A flash is a body of water that forms where the land below it has subsided. Whilst these are mostly found in areas where mining has taken place, some can occur naturally. Collectively, they are known as flashes. And I believe there are a few of these up this way. This area was very much a, a salt producing area. But yeah, very interesting. Croxton flash. Do you like that, Mrs. Lumsden? Is it nice? Yeah. We've got breakfast as well. It's a continental breakfast. Salamis. Bit of Stilton cheese. That that you can see there is called garlic jam. Oh my word. That's a game changer when it comes to adding different flavours to different foods. That's beautiful though, that is, isn't it? Stunning. One of my favourite words, stunning. What time it is, Mrs. It's time. it's time to put the drone up. <laughs> Run out of battery, my drone halfway up. Right, 
because I've got another one of these flashes coming. I thought I'd get a bit of shot if I stick my drone up. See, it looks like Tixel Wide. you there because there's no pub. You dirty old lush. <laughs> I don't have to have a drink. Not all. What? What? <laughs> what? If you didn't hear her then because of the lack of microphone and when she hasn't got a microphone she doesn't project. She says I don't have to have a pub. Just gonna let that lie. That looks beautiful over there, doesn't it? I've no idea which way we go. I think we just continue hugging the bank. It's over there. It's over there. It's like a pond thing there. Enjoying this northern end of the Trent and Mersey. Very pretty, very twisty. It's nice. And then you get areas like this, you know, which is wonderful. Everybody talks about Tixel Wide, and I'm, no one's ever mentioned this. Like, you would think somebody would respond and say, Oh, yeah, another nice place is blah blah blah. Where, what's, what is it called? What's it called? I don't know, it's just that place there. There. So, it's a place called Watcroft. So, do we like that place, Mrs. Sell? That's lovely, isn't it? If you hadn't thrown the pen in the canal, I'd be able to mark on the map there. We need it to come and moor here. Mrs. Lumsden threw a pen in the canal in temper. That <coughs> was a joke. The when chocolate's it melting. No. trips. She puts none of that work in. I do all that. I try to text all the best pubs. I let her steer and I do all the locks. Everything. I do everything to give my princess what she wants and needs. And then look at her peeping over my shoulder. Then she still moans. Oh, you've got She's a wasp on your head. <laughs> Sorry. She's Got still is not happy. <clears throat> now I think what I'll do in a minute is so that's it, I'm done. Oh, you one, hang on. you, you plan everything from now on. You do it. We'll never we'll never go out. We'll, we'll end up selling the boat. I despair. Can you see how demoralised I am by it? <laughs> Breaking me.
Anyway, back to the holiday. Love you, Mrs. Lumsden. Beautiful holiday. Clearly not as much as you should do because you won't let me stay there. Oh, that's I'm going to bring the camera to you because nobody can hear you. What's the matter? Saw <laughs> 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 up her nose then. Ew. Not, I'm not going to edit it out either. Hello. What a cracking day. Look at that sky. So I reckon this marina thing here is as a result of one of those flashes again. Looking at the map, it kind of shows just a pool at the side of the canal. Um, interesting to see wide beams up here as well, isn't it? Okay. Oakwood tea yeah. room. They vote higher. So that I guess this whole area then is Oakwood. Is it? Yes. There's yes. big signs on there. Well, hoping I'm not being inappropriate in any way, but that's not something you see every day at the side of the canal. A hearse with a coffin in it. So I'm a bit confused. I've gone quiet and confused because I want to be respectful. But at the same time, it seems a strange place to have it parked. I mean, maybe it's the mooring that the old guy or the old lady used to have. I think so. Maybe they're leaving it here for the day or for a couple of hours. The part of the farewell. Having a bit of solitude. Or yeah. is it an advert? Condolences to anybody who's lost somebody, and I think it's also a really nice thing to have done. But I think that car's been there for a while because it's very dusty. I can be Marina, they're building the thing. Very nice. If you're into marinas, personally, wouldn't want to be living side by side, would you? looking through each other's windows. Ah, it's a new boat waiting to be fitted out. Very interesting. Looks like it's been here a while. It's not quite established, but the, the entrance is well silted up. I don't quite understand. Don't know. There's a River Canal rescue car there, so they're visiting somebody. So that's the, the first sign of industry, really, since, I guess, Stoke-on-Trent. Um, just coming into the north, which now... So, Mrs. Sell, how come you didn't let me go to the Salt Museum? <laughs> Don't give me that look. <laughs> you didn't want to go, you just, you just got causing a bit of a clucky kerfuffle because you can, because it suits your agenda. Mrs. Sell wants to go to the Salt Museum. I don't think she actually did. I think if Mrs. Lumsden's friends knew that she'd be interested in going to a salt museum, she knows she would be berated. 
What's the matter? Mm. Speak up. <laughs> oh, see, she started out really happy today. She's gone all tired. Are you tired? Sleepy. <laughs> it's like the day I just... <laughs> It was a big day yesterday. When I went down the steps a minute ago, I just kept my smile my legs and stopped again. No, it's it's just because it's so peaceful and tranquil and the boat's just going from sides. It is. It just makes it I like being rocked to sleep. Is this is, it's been lovely this morning, hasn't yeah, it? Nice. The temperature's good as well. I mean it gets a bit hot if, if I've got to say it. So sometimes when the sun comes fully out, it's a relief when it's gone like this, where it's just a bit more the ambient air temperature's not too hot, but it's pleasant. Would have been even pleasanter in the salt museum. Beautiful boat, mate. That'll do for now. Stay safe and join us again soon.